If you've ever helped your mother or father cook a meal, you know that there are certain techniques and tools needed to make different types of food. Baking a cake is different than frying an egg. Making dumplings is not at all like roasting a turkey. If you want to make something delicious to eat, you need to know how different ingredients work together and use the proper tools and methods, or you may end up with a big plate of yuck. Artists also have different techniques and tools to make different types of art. We're going to look at a way to make art that is known as printmaking, where printmakers produce a kind of art known as prints. Wow, there were a lot of P's in that sentence, but don't worry, we'll sort it all out. Like a painting or drawing, a print is two-dimensional. The difference is that by making a print, the artist can produce multiple copies of the original image. An artist might make 10 or 20 prints that look exactly the same. This group of prints is called an addition, and it means that there are more opportunities for someone who likes the artist's work to have a copy. There are many ways to make prints. We're going to look at the special techniques and tools printmakers use and see some examples from artists who use these different techniques to make their art. Relief printing is the oldest form of printmaking. Originally, it was used for the communication of government decrees or religious stories, not for making art. The oldest known woodblock prints are 1800 years old from the Han Dynasty in China. In the 9th and 10th centuries in the Middle East, relief printing was used to print prayers from the Quran, the holy book of Islam. In Europe, during the Middle Ages, relief printing was used to print designs on cloth or to illustrate books. Artists eventually saw the value of using printing technology to make multiple copies of their artwork. In relief printing, the artist starts with a block of wood, clay, or in more modern times, linoleum. The artist draws an image onto the block and then carves away the material around the image using special tools. This area being carved away is the negative space. The artist then uses a tool called a brayer to roll special printmaking ink onto the block. The ink covers the remaining positive space, which will make an image appear on the paper. The printmaker then places the paper on top of the block. There are two ways that the ink can be transferred to the paper. The printmaker can run the paper and block through a tool called a printing press, which uses pressure to transfer the ink to the paper. A tool called a baron can also be used by rubbing the back of the paper by hand. Because the block is a hard material, this process can be repeated as many times as the artist wishes, allowing for the printing of multiple copies of the image. Something that the artist must keep in mind is that the image that prints using this method will be the reverse of what they have drawn. It's just like if you are wearing a shirt that had words on it. When you look in a mirror, the words will be backwards. In printmaking, this is known as a mirror image. Duh! Here are some artists who make relief prints. Making a collagraph is printmaking methods similar to relief printing, but it creates a relief in the opposite way. Instead of carving material out of a block, things are glued down onto it. Materials like cardboard or heavy paper can be used to make shapes. Artists can also attach objects that are relatively flat, like leaves or buttons. Once everything has been glued down to create the desired design, the collagraph is printed the same way as a wood block or linoleum print using printmaking ink, a brayer, and a printing press or baron. Two other printmaking methods that use a printing press are called etching and lithography. In an etching, lines are scratched or burnt into a metal plate. The plate is covered with ink. 
The printmaker then wipes the ink from the surface of the plate, leaving some ink in the scratched lines. This is what will make the image when the plate is run through the printing press. Lithography is very similar to etching, except instead of using a metal plate, the printmaker uses a flat, smooth stone. Using a waxy crayon, the artist draws the image onto the surface. A combination of mild, acidic solution, water, and oil-based ink produce the image. Because metal and stone react differently, a lithograph usually has a softer look than an etching. Another popular printmaking technique is called serigraphy, or screen printing. The artist uses a special cloth to make a screen that allows ink to pass through. They will cut a stencil or use liquid mask to block off parts of the screen. Paper is placed under the screen and ink is forced through the cloth using a tool called a squeegee. In a print edition, each print must be identical. An artist can generally only print one color at a time. If they want many colors, they need to run the paper through the printing press or under the screen for each one. In order to ensure all the colors come out in the right place, the artist uses a system that matches up the block, plate, stone, or screen with the paper each time. This system is called registration. Sometimes an artist likes the look of a printing method but doesn't care about making multiple copies of the same image. They want each print to be unique. In this case, the artist will make what is called a monoprint. Mono means one in Greek. To make a monoprint, the artist draws or paints something on a smooth surface, places the paper on top, and either uses a printing press or baron to transfer the ink onto the paper. Often this process is more spontaneous and requires less preparation and planning than other printmaking techniques. Making prints is a great way to share your art with lots of people. Now that you've learned a bit about printmaking, why not try it?